Hey, it's Phil. I wanted to show you some tips in Microsoft Word, particularly the headings. Uh, many of my students, and in fact many professionals in the real world, fail to use this really valuable feature. So it's not uncommon if people are creating text and they'll put in, say, introduction, right, and then they write some text, and then they might have um, you know, a bold it here. Uh, maybe they'll have a subheading of, I don't know, background, right? and they might underline that or bold that as well. Um, you yeah, understand what I'm saying here. Um, I find that this is a particularly bad way of marking up documents, and I'm going to show you a better way right now. So forget this document for a moment. I'm going to create a new one, and let's say for introduction, I'll put in some text. Now, I'm going to set this here up as a header one. You might say, why do that, right? Why not just change the color and make it bold? Well, I'll show you a couple of reasons. First, right here, I can see it appear on the left-hand side in the document map. All right, so if I were to copy and paste this, it's going to appear many times. Now you say, how often do I really use the document map? Well, I use it quite a bit, particularly on long documents. Let me show you something else that's really cool. I'm going to go here. I'm actually going to remove the formatting, just make it normal. I'm going to type in table of contents. Now I'm going to do insert, index and tables. I'm going to use a basic table of contents. Let's make it just simple. And you'll see here how things update. So instead of introduction here, I've got background, right? Maybe I've got history here. I'm just making stuff up. For history, I'm going to make this a heading two. And now watch what happens here. When I right click and update field, boom. So this is a way of creating a dynamic table of contents and avoiding creating all these unnecessary styles. And that is my Microsoft Word tip of the day.